Good morning, class. Good morning, sir. My name is Mr. Rhapsody Tembo, and I'm going to take you through civic education. Now, even though we all know the curriculum is quite a comedy, because everything true in this subject has undergone governmental abrogation. See, in today's lesson, we are going to be looking at democracy and corruption. I know my teaching methods are a bit unorthodox, but I seek not to cause any disruption, so without further ado, who can tell me about any African country that is purely democratic and is void of corruption? Yes, 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 Miss Emba, yes. Sir, if we're talking about democracy, then Banana Island is the land I stand for. Class C. I understand you can't account what they had or what they have now, mm -hmm. but they have known peace through all their civil calamities. Olovenga kwa temiti mashako sa kwa tiluo, you all know, the government rule is for you all, the people, by the people. Their rights mm -hmm. are equal, mm -hmm. elections free and fair ati wale wa ma vote. Ndemyeva, tema kote ndelemba, it's all just talk. Ha! Their government priority is on the minority, so they put rules to limit the majority and rights to fight for the minority. In fact, Boza. corruption to them is as foreign as sex talks are in most churches. Oh. They have an anti-corruption commission, but need I mention it's a station only there for fashion. Whatever they uncover has details vague and it all seems fake. Their leaders aren't selected but elected. Their president is only limited to powers built in. The constitution clears all debts from Bill 1 to Bill 10. No surprise additions to the constitutions. I mean, show me another nation where you can mention the first lady in names and get no arrests. Once upon a time, I was told a story about this country where democracy was the child of a barren woman. This barren woman decided to adopt corruption and every day she would take good care of this child. She bought this child 48 houses, 42 fire trucks, just to mention a few. Ever try to talk bad about this child, you'll be like a country, you'll be landlocked. But before you get landlocked, you have interesting conversation with tear gases, a few bullet wounds. But once upon a time, sir, I was also told about this very country where justice was a song the dumb would sing. The dumb would sing it so well, they actually would sing it for the deaf. They had an album. I mean, they were so good that they actually had an album. A few songs off the album were Frank Mugala featuring the police, Vaspas featuring riots and the police, Ruth featuring ritual killers. But please, don't look at this country as a bad country. They actually have a Bugatti, sir. Sir, sir. my parents say Banana Island used to be prosperous in the 90s. Being a citizen of the country was sweet, but sir, what happens when you abandon a ripe banana in the sun? In science, you taught us it decomposes, right? But it also leads to infestation, meaning all manner of cockroaches and insects migrate in the interest of investing. Investor is a scientific word for scavenger. They eat their share and leave the rest to the maggots. My parents said the people of Banana Island, they mimic maggots. They are okay with eating whatever the scavengers, I mean investors, leave. Stand and sing proud and free. Can we stand and sing for a state that is proud to sell itself for free? A discount fruit whose peels are ripe but whose insides are decomposing. My parents say problems are hidden in plain sight. But I think problems lie inside. Corruption is a worm that barrows, digs deep, butchers and breeds in the belly of a once great nation. To the citizens of Banana Island, freedom never tasted this disgusting. Its people have forgotten how expression tastes like, spit it out from their mouths like they took a bite of rotten fruit. Leaders are Eve. They took the fruit, but the people are the Adams who took the fall. Which begs the question, what happens to a nation when it is abandoned? when a ripe country is left in the sun. Sir, infestation and worms take over. Okay, 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 okay. Ladies and gentlemen, what is democracy? Freedom of expression, movement and assembly, these are the fruits of democracy. But you see, the problem is that every politician knows that these rights are enshrined under part three of the constitution. So the question is in whether they are respected or not. Mm -hmm. And if not, then what is the only plausible solution? You see, Abraham Lincoln said that the rule of the people, by the people, for the people is democracy. But I think that's too simple. I mean, if you look at these draconian laws, is everyone really equal? Yes. A country is failing when others are taxed more than others, billed ten times like a bad sequel. 
See, that's not democracy. And if you ask me, I think that's abominable. Yes. But don't just get it from me. I mean, <laughs> I'm just trying to add on to a smile like a dimple. Now, don't get me wrong, Miss Yemba. I think you may be right about Banana Island. But if it turns out to be just another bad African fruit from its skin, then I'm appealing you better choose another country. Yeah. I mean, just for clarity. At who do those 40-something houses La belong Fonse to? Ni. Couldn't find the owner, but owner Bugatti and the Bionia. Eh. So, ladies and gentlemen, how do you really, really define democracy? How about separation of powers like Montesquieu said? That means that all governmental wings should work independent of each other. Doesn't matter whether the executive appears to be the head or the respect for the rule of law. I mean, if you are accused of corruption, then it really shouldn't matter who you are, see. Everyone should be equal before the eyes of the law. So I guess with this submission, then this no, argument sir. is really just Yes, a yes. Mm -mm. Sir, you can't say with this submission this argument is but a draw, mm. no. We all know there's a thin line between politics and governance. They could blame the people in the seats for the poly tricks they use to govern them, but just like we can't blame the tick in the clock for making it talk, they can't be docked mm. under their clocks and expect to be heard whenever they talk. Banana Island was led by a cabbage, mm. and their federal stance was no garbage. Mm. But Ngamwa Pele Ngulu, what do you expect? After all, every human knows it's not how big the banana is, it's how you sit on it. Mm. Think of it. Mm. If it's only a matter of some change, otherwise democracy in Banana Island isn't something strange. Banana Island has got issues. She said once ruled by cabbage, but now look at them. They changed their debt. Their economy has lost balance. Onani manje chagwa. Declared the Christian nation, so they pray for everything. So I'm sure they're praying to the ruin gods right now to handle issues that their hands can. I'm sure they won't even hear this because they're busy with my prayer and fasting. I was once told they have a company that powers the nation through blackouts. That's because the management of that company is a crack house. But Prime TV called management and your government pulled out. Kylie, that's not the government's baby, that's for the company. And yet on Labor Day, who delivers that baby? Ugh. Whoa, whoa, guys. Relax. Does it matter whose baby it's for? Our country is abused and we're all watching. He says the people are the problem and she says the problem lies in the power. Pressure groups or political parties, we are all to blame. Did you guys know, according to the CPI, the Corruption Perception Index, our country is one of the highest that is plagued by corruption, not just in Africa, but on the whole planet. Now that's content. But it's all tangent to how we started this subject. See, I merely asked for an example and Joe gave me a whole new topic. If I recollect, we were about to discuss democracy. That said, let this issue be continued another day lest it brings forth unwarranted anarchy. 